Hey YouTube friends. Uh, some more advice for people who are Christians, Christian brothers and sisters out there, and you've um, engaged in witnessing and talking to Jehovah's Witnesses. I want to give you some advice. And this advice is taken right out of the Jehovah's Witness handbook. Practice. When answering Jehovah's Witnesses, practice. If you're in, the, in uh, part of the evangelism team, practice. If you're in part of, uh, you're just general con church congregation member, and um, you're having Jehovah's Witnesses come on to a regular basis, and you want to be able to speak to them and have an answer for them for their, some of their uh, challenges to the Holy Scriptures, and you want to be able to preach Jesus to them, and you want to know how to deal with the arguments that they throw up at you, the answer is to practice, and practice in, in pairs, practice in groups, as part of a team of your church, practice, and, if, and if, um, if you want some advice and stuff, go to your evangelism team and say, come on guys, let's practice. Because you see, every week, the Jehovah's Witnesses have a meeting where they will actually have um, uh, witnesses uh, using some of their literature, using some of their books like Reasoning from the Scriptures, and they'll actually go through arguments. Their, their doctrines and their beliefs and it's and their book reasoning from the scriptures is brilliant it's the Jehovah's Witness handbook on how to argue it says for them how you know how to answer questions from a church going Christian how to answer questions from a Mormon how to answer questions from uh, from people who are atheists how to answer those difficult questions that people fire at you on the beliefs of the watchtower like not having birthdays and uh, not taking drug drug blood transfusions and that sort of thing. You know, they have these scripts and they actually rehearse, and they rehearse their um, presentations very well. And as congregations, they have one meeting a week guaranteed where they're going to do this. So as Christians, you should do it too. You should um, set yourself up or maybe even, you know, there's nothing wrong with actually writing out a script and taking arguments um, which people put towards you and then recreating in, a, in an artificial um, uh, setting in a, in a quiet room somewhere in your church or as when you have your house group meetings and then practice how you're going to answer these these situations how can you respond because the scripture does say that we should all be ready to give a reasoned response for the hope that is within us that's from 2 Peter okay so that's the thing we should do and next time a Jehovah's Witness comes to you and come and says, oh well you believe in the Trinity and the Trinity doesn't, believe, doesn't appear in the Bible you've got a reasoned answer for that and uh, then you can actually um, uh, show them from the scripture where the Trinity is shown to be supported and then you'll have some preparation in there for what sort of responses you might get in return and indeed how to handle that just follow the script because Jehovah's Witness is doing exactly the same thing he's following the script and he's been trained and trained very well and you've got to compliment the Watchtower on this they do train their people well so in in practicing what they believe so that's the thing to do uh, when not just of course for Jehovah's Witnesses but for all um, uh, people who might come and ask questions about the Christian faith if you've rehearsed an answer or answers Okay, it will give you the confidence in how to approach it when you go one on one or maybe even stand up in front of a group of people to give a defense of your faith. Okay, God bless you.